Hello, my name is Amber and today I'm going to be showing you what my kindergartner and second grader are using for schooling, their homeschooling this year, for the 2019-2020 year. Some stuff they're doing together, some stuff they're doing separately. I'll show you and let you know what we're doing as we go along through the video. Kids are playing outside, so probably a few interruptions as we go, but kids! <laughs> okay, kids are playing outside, so I figured I'd quickly show you what we are doing for schooling this year, what they are doing together, what they are doing separately, what we are reading out loud, what we are doing for poetry tea time, and this is not all of it, but I'm not 100% sure what all I'm doing, so this is what we're doing at the start of the year. Coming here. I have a kindergartner, and I have a second grader. So I shall show you first what the kindergartner is doing, and then I will come back and show you what the second grader is doing, and then what we are doing together. Okay, we are going to start with the kindergartner. This year we are going to try this, a reason for handwriting. Just simple handwriting things, oops, sideways. Simple handwriting for her to work on her letters. I figure that's easy enough for her. We are going to do this get ready for the code. She's already started it at the end of last year. So we started with F, obviously. And then we're going to keep working our way through. I have A, B, and C. So, it's one of the first things she's going to be working on this year. And then she started these at the end of last year because she was so excited. She's now in kindergarten and not a preschool. Didn't get very far, but she is enjoying these immensely. She's got two of them. <laughs> And then for reading, we're going to start with this Now I'm Reading. found this at Ollie's. A bunch of batteries. And they're just simple little stories to teach you how to start reading. Just simple words that go along with the pictures, old and new. And they have stickers somewhere in here. There. They have stickers, and when she is finished, she sticks it at the front of the book. That way we know we have accomplished. And then, my mother-in-law found these books. Just simple little Bob books. But figured she might like, again, simple for her to start learning how to read. I'm not sure which number. Book three. I don't think I have all the books here because I was gotten at a consignment shop. But that is most of it. And then she found Frozen, of course. And they are simple stories that when she, yep, here we go. Simple stories that she can learn how to read with when she, probably later on this year. Let's see how this goes. It has multiple stories together in one. But she is really excited for this book too. Now on to my second grader who does not have as many books as my kindergartner, but his are obviously a lot more complicated. So we have a BJU English 2 and math three. He finished, he was doing math two at the end of his first grade year, so we figured this was more his speed, because it's review at the end, or at the beginning. <laughs> review at the beginning, and then it gets more complicated as we go through, but we figured this would work better for him than trying to do math two and him just flying through it, because He's already been doing second grade math. So then we're doing this GGO English book, which is an English book. So hopefully that will help him. 
And then we have some easy readers for him. These are Rebecca, I believe. Yes. These were from my mother-in-law when my husband and his brothers were younger. So we will be working on reading through this. We actually started. We're up to chapter 5. And then I also have Growing Up Where Jesus Lived and All Kinds of Animals. So we'll be going through those. I've been doing these, I think, one story a day. Obviously, we started at the very end of last year. And then these are just some reading books that we'll be reading out loud or together. Stuart Little, Boxcar Children. And then somebody had given us these Wishbone Mysteries that my son's been enjoying reading himself. So if he doesn't want to read them himself, we'll read them out loud as a group. Now we're going to go on to what we are doing together. We're going to obviously start off with Bible. As I mess up my table again. So we have We Sing Bible Songs, so we can pick a few different songs from in here to sing. And then my children love this Bible because it hooks up to your phone. When you open it, the page comes alive and they start talking and say simple things. And it's got fun pages. So we'll do this. And then we bought a BJU Bible Truth, second grade. This we're going to do all together as a family. Had a little interruption. Silly kids. Anyway, this is the Bible we will be doing. I like that it teaches sign language. So we'll be doing this together. Some of these pages I will probably... I think I can photocopy these. I hope I can photocopy these. Anyway, we'll be doing... The make her a version of this and then goes along obviously through Bible things somewhere in here where is it where is it eh, somewhere in here oh birth of Jesus so obviously I have to make sure this lines up with Christmas at some point. The only thing I have to make sure of. Otherwise, I think this will work a lot better than what I was doing last year because I was using this and a few other things and I was not enjoying it very much. Next we're going to talk about what we are reading during tea time, which is basically a fancy word for snack time because none of us like tea. So I, during the winter, I'll make hot chocolate or lemonade or something fancy-ish to drink, plus a snack. We'll do this at least one time a week. I'll make a fancy snack. The rest of it's just whatever I can find. So we were working on reading this, The Young Folks Shelf of Books, which is basically just short little poems. We obviously are up to here, so I'll read two different poems, and then we were working on this one. I'm not sure what happened to the bookmark, though, because I'm pretty sure we did not finish this. And then I was going to go through these, but then I might just figure out something else to do with these books, and instead we're going to start working on the little house and the prairie books. By Laura Ingalls Wilder. Wilder. Wow, can't talk. We're gonna work on this one first, and I thought I had more of these books. Maybe I have them still in my parents' house. I don't know. I'll see if I can find them probably from the library. Got a few of them. Also have a few of these other books. The problem with having a small house is when your kids are playing outside and they are constantly in and out. Literally, my back door. Anyway, back to the Little House books. Anyway, these are picture books that I figured my daughter would enjoy 
reading with us or listening to to go along with our Laura Goes Wilder books. I have a few of those. Plus, found this again at Ollie's. Wasn't exactly what I thought it was, but it will work as like a little unit study. It goes through, talks about Laura, her family, and then it describes some of the books. Plus, it has recipes. So I figured this will be fun to go along with the books that we are reading. Homemade made butter. Ooh. That way my kids can actually, not sure they'd actually eat that one, but they can try different recipes to go with what we are reading. Figured that would be fun. Okay, these are the sciences. I did these last year. I did not like them. These are for my mother-in-law, so we are going to try this again, but we are going to try something a little different, and instead of just going through, I'm going to try more unit studies on these. So, I'll probably skip around. Obviously, we can do body with this. Not 100% sure what's all in this book, because I haven't actually look through it yet. So this I will be figuring out at the end of August what exactly I'm doing with that. It also came with this health and safety manner and manners book. So I'll figure out something with that. Then I have all these magic schoolhouse school schoolhouse school bus books that I picked up at a used curriculum sale. These aren't even half of them. But I figured these would be great for different unit studies. Could try to piece them together with these books. We'll see. But this is actually probably one that I should do probably the end of next year. Or now because we are actually growing a garden. So not sure about science, still trying to figure out if this is what I want to do or something different. This is what we're going to start with. Obviously, old books from Rebecca, if anybody's interested. Now, on to the ones I am most excited about. These are from Beautiful Feet Publications. We have Around the World with Picture Books Part 1. I also own Part 2 for when we finish Part 1. And then, Early American History. These we will be doing together. I do not have all the books, but I figured I can piece them together as we go at the library. And whatever I can't find, I will buy. I have messed up my table runner. Hard to do one-handed. Haha. <laughs> okay. So let's start with this one because I actually have most of the books missing maybe three, four of them, plus the CDs. I don't have any of the CDs, but I don't think you get to those a later, so I wasn't too worried about it. But for this, I can go more in depth later if anybody's interested, that they have the different lessons. Shows you which books you need to go with this book. Then it has the lessons, pictures you can print off to put in your notebooks, and then cute little pictures, and then it tells you all you need to know, Bible verses, to go along with your lessons, read. This one is Leaf the Lucky, so he is right here. So then you read this, just pull back a little, to go along with the book. And so I figure we'll do a whole unit study. I'm going to try this unit study thing, haven't done it yet, but it looks like fun. So we're going to do one all on the Vikings. That is the start of this book. Obviously, I do have some supplemental books in here 
go along with like that is if I can't find a Buffalo Bill book. Those go wait. Yeah. Some of these may actually go with this, but for the most part, these books go with that book. So, this, it, when I first saw somebody flip through it, I was so excited to try this. It looks like so much fun. Something completely different and should be interesting. So, I planned it out. Should be able to do China for the whole month of September or October, whenever we decide to start. It has lessons, the books to put, go with it, you can get more books. Our library actually has one of these books. Apparently not on that page, but, okay, our library has that book. Unfortunately, I'm having a hard time finding some of these books, so I might end up buying some more, but trying to just get as many from the library as possible. And just a second. Okay, had a little... Kids are playing in the sprinkler and one was not happy that she was all wet. Anyway, full unit study in China. Has different books. Art goes along with this maps book, which is... Ugh, sorry, holding phone and recording at the same time. This one. Giant book. Move that one. This book is really huge, and I like that it's like older styled, and the pages are like thick paper. Kind of interesting. But they go with different countries, and they show interesting things about them. This is London. Yep, United Kingdom. Shows different pictures. Very interesting book, and this will be very fun to go through with the kids. Anyway. So then we go back to this. There's 12 lessons for China. I also am excited to try the different recipes that go along with the unit. So that is what we are doing for geography this year. Not all the books, I actually have more geography books, but these are the ones we are going to be starting with. I have all the main books for China. I have none of the Japan ones, so hopefully I can start collecting those up soon. Also, I figured when I get to Antarctica, I actually have a few different Antarctica books. We're going to do a unit study and read Mr. Popper's Penguins. My daughter should love this. Her favorite animal is penguins just like her father's. So, that is what we are doing. Notebooks for writing in. Not sure where I got these notebooks from, but I need to find more so the kids can write stuff. And then they can put their picture in from here. Because I forgot to mention this part, because at the very back of the book... They have pictures for you to copy so the kids can color. They go with the different countries. And then they can stick them in these notebooks. So they can stick their pictures up here. And they can write a little bit of it down here. Or at least my son can. I'm not sure my daughter will be able to yet. But that is what we are doing this year. Hope you like the books that we are using this year, and if you have any questions or would like to see any more in depth, just let me know in the comments below. Thanks! Bye!